Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this week's edition of the New Variety Art Show. We're sure glad you're tuned in. We hope that you've been telling your friends and neighbors about our show because we want uh, everybody to have a chance to tune in and have a good time with us each week here on your local public access station. I'm your host, Brad Zinn, and it's my pleasure to welcome you. We, uh, we have all sorts of interesting guests on the New Variety Art Show, uh, from clowns and mimes and jugglers, magicians, hypnotists, psychics, belly dancers, caricaturists, and we even have have opera stars and singers and dancers and jugglers so uh, uh, be sure and stay tuned you never know what could happen here on the new variety art show <laughs> and we hope that by giving you this opportunity each week to meet and greet variety arts performers and get to know them personally just a little bit the next time you see one live and in person in performance somewhere around the valley or maybe uh, up at the wharf at San Francisco uh, you'll have a chance to appreciate what they do just a little bit more. Now, we'd like to have you call us and let us know what you think about the new Variety Arts show. And as always, the number is that area code in the great state of Arizona. And uh, let us know what you think. If you have an idea, a suggestion for the program, or if you have a Variety Arts type event coming up, let us know and we'll try to get word out on the air so that people can come and enjoy that as well. Right now, here's somebody that uh, we like to uh, have come and and uh, visit us every week, our musical director, Van Corriton. Good to be back, Brad. Great to see you, and you're looking very spiffy today. Well, I just came from doing afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. The the Phoenician, at you know. the fabulous Phoenician. Yes. yes. I, uh, I've been practicing the little, uh, but that, oh, with the, no, yeah, no, 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 that no. means something else. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> well, uh, that's a very snappy bow tie you have on there. I thought you'd never know. <laughs> uh, have you got the check? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell may us I, about that. May I? Yes. Please. Yes. Well, uh, you may know that I do paint. I've always painted. Uh, That's done, something that probably most art, people didn't uh, know. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I was actually in art when I was a little, little tiny child. Tiny and taught. Right. I was always making something, and I'm still making things. So I paint. Uh, Cumberbund, may I stand up and show the Cumberbund? Uh, yeah, we'll let the camera back up just a little bit here. We okay. can show everybody. The Cumberbund. Ah, it's a matching, matching set, the bow tie. Set. And this is hand-painted, is hand that right? Hand-painted by these hands. Ah. Yes. Terrific. And I do market these. Ah, people sit down. It's a commercial. <laughs> no, it's a commercial people have now. admired them, and yeah. I can't say they're not available, right? Yeah. Well, Everything great. I have is available. <laughs> <laughs> For the right price. Right. Well, you know, uh, we, we have uh, a lot of good friends stop by and see us here on the right. Variety Arts Show. And I, want, I would like to let people know where they can, uh, we're always telling people to support Variety Arts in your community. So here are some places that you can go and see live entertainment, uh, Variety Arts performers in the Valley. Flash Covington, our jazz, uh, jazz uh, sax saxophonist Saxon. and magician. Mm -hmm. He is at Rawhide and at uh, uh, Cafe Creole. Uh, Kenton is at Maryland's uh, Mexican Food Restaurant. Bob Morgan at the Goldfield Ghost Town in Apache Junction. Gene Urban at Number 10 Downing Street in Scottsdale. Kevin Barnes, our friend from Phoenix, is up at the Excalibur Hotel in Las Vegas. Jay Malbro, remember a crazy Jay crazy uh, with Jay. the uh, Adobe Oven over there in the uh, <laughs> Ha Ha Show. And uh, Kim Welsh at the Hop in Glendale. Stop and where are you? Oh, I'm glad you ask. Uh, we have a full evening uh, magic show coming up, and it's to benefit the Phoenix Breakfast Civitan Club. Now, this helps send handicapped children to summer camp van. Beautiful. And it's going to be Thursday, June 25th uh, of 1992. In, uh, at 7.30 p.m. in the Phoenix College Auditorium. Tickets are available at the door, and uh, doors will open at 7 o'clock, so please stop by and uh, help out those kids with the, uh, uh, with the handicaps so that they can go to summer camp, and hopefully you'll enjoy an evening of magic with I'm myself, sure and will. the whole troop will be there. Uh, you know, I told you last week we had a surprise. Oh, wait a minute. We have some housekeeping to do. Oh? Joe Corcoran was here last week. Right. And at the very end of the show, he had two pieces of advice. And we heard the first that. one, and then all of a sudden we went away. Oh, the, the credits ended, right. That's right. Yeah. And the other one, Joe wanted us to let you know, folks, that the <laughs> other piece of advice was that a smile is a curve that straightens out a lot of things. Beautiful. Nice, nice Very sentiment. Nice. I'm sorry we missed that on the last show. As I said, uh, we have a lot of surprise guests on the show, Van, and today is a surprise. We have a, uh, a, a this is a married couple. A this married is a, couple. a duo, yeah. and they play piano. Uh, something near and dear to your heart. Uh -huh. uh, he sings. She she also is a singer. She's an opera singer, and she's been a teacher. And uh, oh, her resume just goes on and on and on forever. We're gonna hear all about that when we have a chance to meet these nice folks. But very quickly, we're gonna show you a little clip of oh, our great. guests for today. So don't go away. Watch your uh, TV screen and uh, enjoy this piano duo 
uh, and when we come back, we'll meet our very special surprise guest for today. Okay? Thanks. Super. What? Marvelous piano artistry, and our surprise for today is Van Corriton and his wife Ruth Dubenbaum Corriton. They are our guests, and you know, Variety Arts Entertainment includes an awful lot of things, and uh, we wanted uh, Van to have a chance to kind of uh, spread his wings a little bit. And of course, uh, if you remember the first time Van was on our show as musical director, we talked about the fact that he was a newlywed. And I invited his, uh, his bride here to be on the show with us today. And so let's say hello, first of all, to uh, Van Corton and Ruth <laughs> Dubenbaum Corton. Van, uh, this has been a marvelous uh, marriage between the two of you with the piano. Why don't you tell us a little bit how you uh, first met Ruth? Wow. Well, I came to uh, Ruth to study uh, voice again because I'd been away from it on a, on a real basis, a professional basis uh, for a while. And she had seen me perform the title role in Sweeney Todd, The Demon of, of Fleet Street. Uh -huh. I did the Arizona premiere about two years before she called me and said, I remember your voice, something like that. You know, would you come to my home and, uh, and let me hear you again? And that's how we met. Uh -huh. And how long did you study with Ruth? Um, two years before we actually uh, found we had more in common than just uh, teacher-student. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very nice. Well, now I want to give, uh, give proper credit to your wife. She has a, a, an impressive resume that we cannot take time to go through entirely, but uh, the major thing that you are doing right now is you are the professor of opera and voice at Scottsdale Community College. That is, as I mentioned uh, during the clip, uh, the alma mater of Steven Spielberg. Although he didn't study opera, he did study film there at Scottsdale Community College. Thanks for being here, Ruth. My pleasure. And uh, you, uh, you have sung opera all over the world, have you not? And uh, how, how, uh, how did you get started uh, singing? Was this from your family? Uh, yes, I'm fourth gener third generation singer. My mother wanted to be an opera singer. My grandfather was a singer. And, uh, but initially I started out to be a country pianist. I studied the Juilliard and then I started accompanying singers at 16 years of age for the Metropolitan Opera. And I decided I was going to be a singer. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, 
My, uh, my, uh, my mother, of course, is a uh, frustrated opera singer herself. She took lessons and, uh, for a time, and she, uh, she gave me my appreciation of, the, uh, of that uh, particular form of art, and indeed it is, and we hope that Variety Arts will achieve the, uh, the prestige someday that opera and ballet and all the other arts enjoy as well. Uh, you, are also a, uh, you are also a teacher and are cert certified not only as a, uh, a piano teacher and a voice teacher, but you're also, I'm impressed by this, you're certified as a superintendent of schools. That now. is correct. <laughs> how, do you, how, do, how does one become a superintendent? Well, I majored in uh, education after I had gone to Europe. I majored in education and I went on and correlated all the things I had studied as a student of the humanities and believing sincerely the curriculum needed to be changed and uh, stress on the arts and so I took everything that I had learned and studied and figured it's got to, it should come into education because the first thing that's dropped from the curriculum is art and oh, music. Ab absolutely. And I find it tragic. Well, that's true. I remember being in high school, and if the football department wanted uh, polka dotted footballs, that's right. uh, they could have 80 of them tomorrow. I'll but paint them yeah. for them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Van could do the artwork. But over in the drama department, if we wanted, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks to buy sets to uh, flats right. or costumes or makeup or something, we had to beg and plead on our knees. So, uh, and certainly in budgetary recessionary uh, times, the arts. Uh, uh, the arts it. are really the thing that tame the savage beast, isn't it? I mean, that's what yes. gives us our culture and our respect for humanity and our dignity. And our ethics. A, our ethics. And, uh, and uh, definitely, uh, that should be underscored rather than diminished. Yeah. And so what I did I, is I did advanced doctoral work at Teachers College of Columbia University. Columbia. Both in music and in uh, curriculum development philosophy of education. Uh -huh. Now tell me, uh, what brought you out to Scottsdale? A health, the, uh, a health of the family brought us here. Uh, they needed uh, the family, and I'm very closely knit to my parents uh -huh. and children. Uh, they needed wonderful Arizona, the dry climate for severe arthritis and asthma. And that's it what brought me Sounds here. very much like why my uh, parents moved yeah. here in the 50s yeah. was for health reasons. Yeah. But you know, I was born here and they say, bake your sinuses in Arizona. <laughs> Sun. And I don't know who the, the Chamber of Commerce might have, must have started this myth, but I was born here and I have sinuses like everybody else does. <laughs> Uh, Van, I, you know, you've played uh, piano for us for weeks now, <laughs> and I really didn't know that you did, uh, would, would you consider that light opera? Um, well, Broadway? I do light, with meaning like uh, Broadway and the operettas, but I also do uh, grand opera, which is considered uh, the Verdi, the Puccini, the Wagner, that's grand opera. Oh, wow, yeah. so you've, you've done it all then like to. <laughs> there isn't <laughs> much the, grand opera in Arizona. Where are some of the places that you've, uh, that you've sung? I've sung with Arizona Opera and I've, I've sung uh, with uh, the Phoenix uh, Chamber Symphony at Scottsdale Center for the Art uh, featured in oratorios uh -huh. and at uh, Care Center and at Symphony Hall I did uh, an opera for the city in fact. Wow, how long ago was that? That one was in 76. 1900 and frozen to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Did you, uh, did, was opera part of your uh, studies coming up in high school and college? And uh, from the time I was a child, my father sang uh, opera at home uh, all the time. Uh -huh. He it wasn't was a barber, was he? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, to me, it was as natural having him sing opera as, as some other father uh, throwing a football with you in the yard, yeah. you know. Yeah. It was, Everybody did it. Yeah. Well, that's great. And uh, you're, you're also a composer as well? Right. And an artist, yeah. Uh, and an artist. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, Ruth is probably one of your biggest fans, I, I think. Vice that, versa, uh, too. That's uh, not a secret. And uh, she has insisted that you bring along one of your paintings here today, <laughs> which we are more than happy to show. Well, they say one picture is, you know... Worth, worth a few words. So I'll be uh, happy to show. We're going to pass this. Uh, let, let, let me. Pay. You want to do yeah, it? Yeah. Let me uh, see if we can hold that there. Got it. And we're going to tilt this down just a bit, so we can uh, get uh, not get the glare. Why don't you tell us uh, what uh, this painting uh, is? Because there is an interesting story that goes with this. Yeah. Uh, well, to begin with, it's acrylic with some mixed media, some enamel, which gives it a sort of a chipped look or flaky look on the bottom which is why it's under glass it's been sort of flaking off and I, I've, I've arrested the uh, rest of the chipping it was to give it an aged look uh, what do you want to know about it well uh, what uh, what are we looking at here I guess is uh, for those that may 
have a little difficulty. I don't know. I get in a mood and I give them a title. I think it's on the back if you can see. The Archangels. No, I. Doesn't say anything. Say anything. Something about the uh, Archangels. Well, there are. I, when I paint, it just seems there are a lot of times angelic uh, creations sort of branch out of it, uh, come out of it. Mm -hmm. I did a series of murals for a. Uh, a um, an apartment complex in Scottsdale years back, <coughs> and uh, I would sketch, you know, the murals, uh, the uh, like mountains in the background and such. But every once in a while, I get carried away, and I'd look, and out of like sand I'd, or, or rock, I'd like created. It looked like angels coming out of the hmm. desert. Whenever I I let go, I just seem to paint uh, you must angels. Have an angel sitting on your shoulder. <laughs> I yeah. think so. Uh, next may, to me. May I? Thank you. May I add something about this multifaceted Renaissance human being? <laughs> uh, he's also now been appointed cantor, uh, cantorial soloist in Sun City for the coming year. Oh, how wonderful. Yes, Temple Beth Shalom. Con congratulations. Thank and you. And you also sing at a, a Greek, uh, Greek, Greek uh, church. No, right? no, no, no. Uh, oh. Ruthie has I many students from the many Greek. Many wonderful oh, students. I see. Okay. Yes. No, I, I sing at, at another church on Sundays. They're not Greek. And oh, it's I'm Greek sorry. to me because <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> okay. What, which church is that? It's the First Church of Christ Scientist oh, downtown. Oh, that's right. Okay. First uh, uh, Church of Christ uh, Science. In downtown Phoenix. In downtown Phoenix. Yeah. So on, uh, and that's on Sunday mornings? Right. Is that Sunday mornings. So if you want to come in here, Van, sing at a mm -hmm. church service, you're invited. Or to if you want to hear me do a Hebraic type service. In <laughs> Sun City, C come to Temple. <laughs> come to Temple in Sun City. That would. I'm be always great. worried I'm going to walk in with the the wrong outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't forget the yarmulke. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what for you the need. church, right? Right. Ruth, you have um, uh, sung all over the world. Can you give us a little history of uh, some of the places that you've sung, and in particular Europe? Uh, oh yes. Well, I sang with the City Opera on tour throughout the United States, and uh, I was with special services in Germany for a year. And then I sang many, what we say, gosh, feel I speak German. <laughs> I didn't have a steady contract. I sang many guest performances in Germany and in Austria. Uh, uh -huh. And I studied the Mozarteum in Austria. And uh, so the, I'm not going to go into the German names, but um, I did many performances. Uh huh. Wonderful. Well, we're very honored to have both it's of you uh, be on the show today as our guests. May I commend you uh, for the wonderful service uh, and the level, the high level of proficiency, uh, intellectual proficiency, which you offer to the community, which I think it's in dire need of. Well, you're much too kind, but I will accept <laughs> your compliment <laughs> graciously. I feel like Johnny Carson, he's leaving. I'm going to be around for yes. a while, I hope. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, but somebody else already got that job, so we'll just uh, stay here and do our little public access <laughs> program for a while. Do you want to show her other famous students? I, I do. I was working my way <laughs> around to this uh, because we have a surprise. Let me just talk to the folks at home for just a minute. We have a little surprise. Van is actually going to sing favor no. us with a song, a couple of songs today, which I've twisted his arm, but uh, <laughs> to show what a wonderful teacher uh, his wife uh, has been over the last few years. But you have, uh, oh good, we're going to have to move along real quick here. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we want to talk about your daughter. Now, real briefly, your daughter sang at the Metropolitan Opera beginning at the age of 23. 23, uh, yes, and there she is with the Reagans. Okay, and, the White House. Uh, at the White House. At the White House. Yes, Gail, that's one of, my, one of my two daughters. Uh, yes, and then the other one is with Pavarotti. Okay. Uh, we'll, at the Metropolitan Opera. We'll let you hold that one. And, you. and you started working with her as a child, is yes. that correct? Yes, she showed phenomenal ta talent as a very, very young child. I mean, very young. Uh, at nine years of age, she was already singing operatic arias uh, very easily. Uh -huh. I have two other, uh, a stepdaughter, and then I have another beautiful daughter, Dawn, who's a headhunter and owns her own firm in New York City. Oh, how I'm from New York, yes. How very neat. <laughs> uh, you, um, uh, so this is, Ru is uh, Ruth, is your, is Ruth. your daughter, I'm sorry. Uh, Gail. Gail. Uh, Dubenbaum. Dubenbaum. Okay, well, look for her at the uh, at the Metropolitan Op specials and some other things on television. And is she singing here in town anywhere? Uh, not right now. She's going to Aspen. She's going to be a professor of voice in Aspen this summer. In Aspen, Colorado. And then she's going to Europe. Oh goodness. And she is. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to rearrange the studio here for just a moment. Don't go away. This will only take a second by the magic of television. We're going to go to black. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to hear Van sing a number from the Man of La Mancha which is very appropriate because Raul Julia is uh, doing uh, right. that on Broadway right now with Sheena Easton, I believe. So don't go away. We'll be right back with Van Corton and Ruth Dubenbaum Corton. 
we're ready for Van Coriton and Ruth Newbenbaum Coriton. Take it away. and Placido Domingo, watch out. And now Van is going to favor us uh, with one of my favorite all-time numbers, uh, accompanied by his wife, Ruth Dubenbaum Coriton. Van singing uh, the infamous Phantom and the music of the night. Darkness stirs and wakes imagination. Silently the senses upon the mighty fences. Slowly, gently, night unfurls its splendor. Emulous and tender, turn your face away from the jarred light of day. Turn your face away from cold, unfeeling light, and listen to the music of the night. Close your eyes and surrender. Your spirits start to soar.
slowly for sweet intoxication. Touch me, trust me, savor each sensation. Let the dream begin, let your darker side give in to the power. The power of the music of the night. You can make my soul. Help me make the music of the night. Ah, oh. fantastic. Christine, marry me. Ah, it's my favorite number from my favorite show. Thanks for tuning in to the New Variety Arts Show on your public access station. See you next time, same time, same channel. Till then, support Variety Arts in your community. Bye, everybody.